The 90s produced a lot of good TV, and a lot of those shows still inspire nostalgia and frequent binge sessions from fans. But even some of the best series of the era had their moments of missing the cultural mark. The results are some scenes that are just plain hard to watch in retrospect. Here are some moments of misogyny you might have missed the first time, but will make you cringe now. The Jock Schlock Thanks to the era's most unapologetically feminist small-screen heroine, Jessie Spano, there were plenty of moments on Saved by the Bell that took stabs at supposed gender norms. Unfortunately, A.C. Slater was always right there to undercut her. For example, in the episode titled Mamas and the Papas, the Bayside Bunch are made to pair off in fake marriages for a school sociology project. This culminates in Slater going nuts over Jessie wanting to keep her own last name in her real marriage. This chick's crazy. <laughs> I bet you want me to have the kids, too. How Slater managed to win Jessie's heart through all that open machismo remains one of the biggest mysteries of that entire generation of TV. You macho pig. Oink, oink, baby. <laughs> Victim blaming. The subject of Jen Lindley's active love life was always a little too taboo on Dawson's Creek. But the show's terrible treatment of her reached new heights when she was almost sexually assaulted in the episode Full Moon Rising. After her Graham manages to stop their smooch session from becoming full-on date rape, Granny decides that's the perfect time to blame Jen for everything. You will treat me with respect and you will act like a lady. Have you no respect for yourself? The idea that it was her temptress-like behavior that started all this is shocking and a dangerous example of rape culture, so yeah. This is pretty uncomfortable to re-watch thanks to the incident itself and Graham's shameful reaction. Field of Vision The fact that Elaine Bennis was the odd woman out in a lot of her guy friends' misinformed adventures on Seinfeld meant that sometimes she got put into situations that were less than desirable for a woman. One such incident happened in an episode titled The Shoes, in which George Costanza is caught looking at his prospective boss's daughter's cleavage. Get a good look, Costanza. He and Jerry then convince Elaine to bear her bosoms in front of the same boss to show him that it's just a natural reaction to seeing cleavage within their so-called field of vision. This all results in some excessive objectification of basically every woman on the show and advances the narrative that men only act like boneheads around women because they just can't help themselves. Yuck. You can't control it? We're like some kind of weird fish where the eyes operate independently of the head. <laughs> Zodiac Zinger Yes, even on-screen children can engage in troubling, slut-shaming behavior. Full House might have been a family show, but in the episode titled A Pinch for a Pinch, things got pretty adult in the barb department. In the episode, DJ and Kimmy try to convince Stephanie to read their high school newspaper, and things get a little heated. Check out my new column, Madam Kimmy's Horoscope. Horoscope? What's that, Kimmy? A telescope that can only see your face? A-plus on the zinger, Stephanie. F-minus on promoting completely unacceptable language to talk about a woman. Too much testosterone. Tim the Toolman Taylor was the father of three boys whose job was to spend a lot of time grunting like an animal over power saws. <laughs> With that much testosterone going around, it's probably not too surprising that he spent an exhausting amount of his spare time degrading his wife Jill. But the worst moment of the show had to be when his brother and sister-in-law come for a visit and he can't contain his thirst over his brother's wife. A bad situation gets worse when he accidentally walks in on her showering and decides that's the ideal time to compliment her figure. We have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, especially you. As if all that wasn't weird enough, he then consults with his neighbor Wilson and explains exactly why he can't contain himself. We expect family to get the reaction like your 80 or 90 year old grandma in there, but. <laughs> Grandma never looked like that. It's basically the G-rated version of the she-asked-for-it defense, which is… gross. Grabbing a spoon Friends might have been there for all of us with rapid-fire jokes, situational humor, and tons of delicious drama, but there were still a lot of moments that wouldn't land quite so well on the modern cultural landscape. Remember when Ross wouldn't let his son play with a doll? 
Perhaps the most egregious example of this antiquated worldview came in the series' first episode, when Joey spun out an elaborate metaphor about how women are food items just waiting to be dined on by men. Let me tell you something, Ross. There's lots of flavors out there. There's Rocky Road and cookie dough and bing, cherry vanilla. What's worse is that it all culminates in him telling Ross that getting back in the dating game simply means grabbing a spoon and digging in. The intention might have been innocent, but comparing women to sweet and soft desserts only meant to reward men after they've sampled the buffet of life is basically pretty gross. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!